TFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 9 a.m. Eastern time on Monday, 30 minutes to go until the start of the trading week. And we got markets starting off in positive territory. It looks like Dow futures right now up 53 points, trading at 27,362. S&P futures positive by about seven, 3,022. Both of those look like they're going to open up near record highs. And NASDAQ futures up 23 points, trading at 79. 83. We'll start things off this morning. Take a look at the VIX as this market just continues higher. As you'd expect, VIX, very low volatility on the end of Friday, and we're starting a little bit higher, but 1263 nonetheless. We'll jump over to some of the futures markets. We'll start it off with the Dow, currently trading 27,357. Almost made it up to 27,400 at about 3.30 a.m. Eastern time before backing off a bit. NASDAQ 100 making highs pre-market as we speak, 79.84. We were down here earlier in the morning at about 79.58, so you're talking about almost 30 points to the upside from that price level. S&P's almost reaching the high that we had at around 3.30, which was 3,023, currently sitting about a point and a half in the S&P's under that level. Crude oil above $60, trading at $60.55. Of course, we had some hurricane action in the Gulf going on. Hopefully, everyone is safe in Louisiana, New Orleans. But oil getting a little bit of a bid this morning as it was under $60 by a few pennies briefly last night. And gold currently holding $14.14. was up there at about $14.19 earlier in the day. Euro US dollar trading $112.68. In terms of what else you have happening across the market, at the end of the day Friday, the news coming out after the close, though, Facebook slapped with a $5 billion fine from the FTC for privacy lapses to see how that stock is reacting. And you'll see the action, uh, well, I guess it did come out maybe right before the close on Friday, but opened at about 204, slightly under that level. You also had Citibank earnings this morning, bank earnings in full swing. Closed at 71.77, was up at 73.06, currently 72.35. And the news on their earnings to jump over, they beat pretty handily on both levels in terms of $1.95 earnings per share. They were looking for about buck eighty. They came in with revenue of 18.76 billion. Not bad, beating that 18.5 billion number. Stay tuned, folks. You got Larry Pesavento coming up live right now. I'll be back at 10 o'clock with Tom. And of course, you got Fast Market by TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim at 11, Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Dave White, and Tom O'Brien back today, live from 3 to 5. Have a great Monday.